I'm Alex Dadig with Front Page Index, and this is another episode of A Few Things You Might Have Missed. We know him as former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. We also know him as former White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders' dad. And recently, we also learned that he has been appointed to head the 2024 re-election campaign for President Trump's third term. I couldn't agree more. You know, the president's going to get a third term because the first one didn't count since he was so mistreated (laughs) by Congress and the press. This is hilarious. By the way, WTF means, well, that's fine, according. Well, no, maybe maybe in Arkansas, but in New York, it means something very different. (laughs) Governor Huckabee is a serious, sensible conservative with great American values and a well-rounded sense of humor. He's been around current events long enough to know how to cut right to the chase. I think he would be delighted. Frankly, I would be delighted. I can't think of anything that would be better for Donald Trump's reelection than for Hillary to throw her hat back on the ring, because even Democrats are asking her to please get off the stage. If they could find a hook big enough to grab her and get her off the stage, they clearly would, because she's providing an extraordinary distraction to them trying to find a message, which, by the way, they haven't found yet. Governor Huckabee's utmost respect for the intelligence community must be noted. You know, compare the two that Watergate pales, uh, really, uh, in my view, uh, as, as compared to what we're, uh, we're confronting now. Uh, talking there about Russia uh, and its interference in our election, the now uh, investigation, do you think Watergate is a fair parallel comparison? I mean, I wonder if Clapper is sniffing glue. How in the world could he say that Watergate pales in comparison? Governor Huckabee knows how to explain the relationship between the news media and his grandchildren like no one else. The reason she was really good at that podium this week is because she's got three preschoolers at home. And the (laughs) fact is she's used to answering the same questions over (laughs) and over again. His keen sense of understanding between crime and obstruction of justice will leave anyone stunned. It's possible. Look, the big difference between the Clintons and the Sopranos is that the Sopranos never left an email trail. (laughs) That's right. You can always count on Governor Huckabee to point out the obvious. I had to be in California this week and it occurred to me that I can't get a plastic straw, but I could get a syringe. That would- and don't get him started on what he thinks about fake news. Wow. Now, tonight, ironically, is the White House Correspondents' Dinner, where the media gets together and they slap each other on the back. What say you about that? I, you know, it's, it's a room full of people who are hugging themselves so tightly it's a miracle they can breathe. <laughs> It's got to be one of the most phony things that ever happened. There's more authenticity at a wax museum than there is at one of these dinners. I hate these things. Governor Huckabee's keen sense of analysis on how former President Obama saw law and order can't be overlooked. Uh, he said that our greatest threat was climate change. Elizabeth, I-, I assure you that a beheading is much worse than a sunburn, and this president couldn't watch a Western from the 50s and know the difference between the good guys and the bad guys, even if John Wayne was starring in the film. That's just how bad it is for him to perceive what our real threat is. I hope you'll join me for the next episode of A Few Things You Might Have Missed. The sky is not the limit So let's not just aim high No, you don't have to see it The chances are The chance may pass you by So reach beyond the heavens No winging on a prayer